When I started the Confidence Project, I decided no working on weekends, set those boundaries. <laughs> that plan did not last. The Confidence Project was a startup and I worked all the time. After the first year, I decided, okay, on Fridays after six o'clock, do not answer emails. On Saturdays, you can work some and then put your emails into drafts for next week. On Sundays, no working. <laughs> that plan didn't last either. Sometimes I'd work on Saturday or Sunday afternoon to jumpstart Monday. One Saturday night in those early years, my husband Henry and I were half watching football and half reading the newspaper, and I thought, I'll answer some emails. Two hours later, I felt so accomplished. At 8.30 the next morning, though, Sunday morning, the phone rang. It was a California area code. Is this my client? Good morning. Hey, Tracy, I got your email last night, and I figured it was fine to call you this morning. Oh, sure. After we hung up, I thought, we teach people how to treat us. My email landed in his inbox at 9.30 on a Saturday night, so he assumed Tracy works any time. Calling me on Sunday morning allowed him to check me off his to-do list. You can teach a colleague that you'll do the work they don't want to do, or you can say, you know, I can't take on that project right now, but I'm happy to help brainstorm with you for a few minutes. You can teach a coworker that they can take your idea and claim it as theirs, or you can address it. Thank you for circling back to my idea. I brought up the plan yesterday in the staff meeting, so I'm glad we're going to talk about it again today. You can let people talk over you, or you can say, Taylor, this is important. I want people to hear this. Or Sam, hang on, I'm almost finished. And you can answer emails all day and night. Or you can say, my office hours are, and then fill in the blank. Of course, there are professions and situations where you need to be on call. You know your work best. But whenever possible, teach people how to treat you well. For the next 30 days, talk with leadership about what are your company norms, and then practice these skills so you can show up with confidence for yourself, for everybody else, and especially your client. To bring the Confidence Project to your organization, click on the link below. Thank you.